Today we gonna get rid of all the confusion. This message is entitled, Who is the Father of Jesus? Peace be upon him. This is a mystery. The Christians think it's God, and they are dead wrong. According to the Quran, one of the worst abusive statements against Allah is to say Allah has begotten a son. So think about that, Christian. Now, let's go to the Muslims. Who is the father of Jesus? Now, we can't always say that the Bible is corrupt, okay? We have to deal with the reality of the Gospels because from what I see in the Gospels, it lines up perfectly with the Quran. So I'm going to ask you again, who is the father of Jesus? Now, let's get the Surrey. This is going to be the cave. 1988, they claim the most compassionate Lord has taken a son to himself. Surely you have made a monstrous statement. It is such a monstrosity that the heavens might well nigh burst forth at it. The earth might be cleaved and the mountains fall. At their ascribing a son to the most compassionate Lord. Now, this verse is bringing out how the Mahdi had to return to this earth and to address this issue. This is how serious it is. That's why he said, the mountains may fall. And this is Matthew 21, 44. And whomsoever shall fall on this stone shall be broken. But on whomsoever it shall fall. What's going to fall? Go to verse 42. Did you never read in the scriptures? The stone which the builders rejected. The same is become the head of the corner. Now this stone is a picture of that black stone. On the corner of your Kaaba. This is a picture of Lamonti. My name means mountains. My dad name is Monty. His name means mountains. Mount, As mount, it is mount, written mount, in the mount, Hadiths, mount, mount, the mountains love us and we love the mountains. This stone fell from heaven. Just like that black stone that fell from paradise. That same stone y'all kissed. It was actual person that was coming down. Allah said on the last day. That stone was going to come forth with two eyes and a tongue. And that is actually a metaphor for Daquan Lamonte Clay, Clay coming, coming down, down here. here. This is going into the one prophet. There's one God in Islam. And there's one prophet in Islam. Every prophet that ever prophesied correctly was spoken through by the chief prophet. And that is the Mahdi. He is the father prophet. Now let's keep going. Let's go to John 8 27. The scripture is overlooked. It reads, They understood not that he spake to them of the Father. Now in John 5, they said that he made himself equal with God by making God his Father. So it is correct to say that the Jews and the Pharisees all would agree that Jesus made God his father. And according to John 8, 27, they understood not that he spake to them of the father. Who was this father Jesus was speaking of? Who was this father that was speaking through Jesus? Muslims don't have a clue. The Christians definitely don't have a clue. And this is the big issue we have in Islam. We have a whole lot of false teachers. All these imams, these so-called scholars, don't know a damn thing. No, they don't. They will tell you that Jesus was talking about God. Even though the Quran tells them that it is a monstrosity to even say Allah has a son. This is one of the most worst things you can say. According to the Muslims. According to the Quran. Is to say Allah has a son. So who is his father according 
to the Gospels. Now, before we tell you what it is, let's identify who it's not. Now, let's go to Matthew 23 and 9. And call no man your father upon the earth. For one is your father which is in heaven. So this father is in heaven. It doesn't say Jehovah. It doesn't say Yahweh. It doesn't say no biblical Bible name of God. It's simply father. Who is this father? Now we have to deal with how Jesus said his father was greater than him. So we know Jesus is not saying he's greater than himself. He simply said the father is greater than him. And we're going to get that. This is going to be in the book of John. John has a lot to say about greater, greater, greater. There's a lot of scriptures that deal with greater. This is going to be John 10, 29. My father, which gave them me, is greater than all. Now let's go to John 14, 28. Ye have heard how I said unto you, I go away and come again unto you. If you love me, you would rejoice because I said I go unto the father for my father is greater than I. So Jesus has been eliminated from being the father because he said the father is greater than him. So this is not him. Now let's eliminate the prophet Mohammed. This is going to be in the Quran. This is going to be the combined forces. This is going to be chapter 33, Ayat 40. Mohammed is not the father of any one of your men. Period. He's not the father of any of your men. And I'm going to keep going because I'm not scared to reveal the truth. But he is the messenger of Allah and last of the prophets and ever is Allah of all things knowing. Okay, so we establish the fact that there's one God and there's only one messenger. Only one. There's many prophets, but there's only one mantle. And that mantle is Mohammed, and he's not Arabian. He's black. This is the Mahdi. You see, you fail to realize that in the religion of Islam, in the religion of Judaism, there was only one prophet. This is going to be seen in Matthew 1040. He that receiveth you, receiveth me. And he that receiveth me, Receive of him that sent me. This person is a man. This person is not God. This is the father. And we're going to deal with this mystery. Who is this mystery father? I want to know. You want to know? Let's find out who this mystery father is. Verse 41. He that receive of a prophet in the name of a prophet. Let that sink in. In the name of a prophet. Who was the Muslims receiving in the name of Muhammad? They were receiving another prophet in the name of Muhammad. He that receiveth a prophet in the name of a prophet shall receive a prophet's reward. And he that receiveth a righteous man in the name of a righteous man receives a righteous man's reward. So there's a chief prophet in the heavens. At this time, he was in the heavens. This is Al Mahdi, and he is chief of all the prophets. You were receiving Al Mahdi in the name of Mohammed. We made it clear that Mohammed, peace and blessings be upon him, was not this father. Allah told us he is not the father of any of your men. Then we have the prophet Isa saying, call no man your father. Then he goes on to say his father is greater than him. So we know this is not the prophet Isa. So who is this mystery father? 
Oh, we got one more father to eliminate. Let's deal with your boy, Paul. Now, Paul is the father of all you Christians. And according to the hate deeps, there is a prison named Bulas, which is Paul in Arabic. There's a prison with Paul's name on it, and you Christians are first in line. Now, in 1 Corinthians 4.15, For though ye have 10,000 instructors in Christ, yet have ye not many fathers. For in Christ Jesus I have become your father through the gospel. Now, this is the false father. This is the false Abraham. This is the man who wanted to be Al. Maddie. Now, I used to teach before I knew I was Al Mahdi that Paul wanted to be the last messenger. He wanted to be like Mohammed. And that's right, because Al Mahdi really is Mohammed. He's the ultimate Mohammed. So that was correct. In Deuteronomy 33 and 2, it talks about saints for the first time. And that's what Paul called his church. He called them saints. Paul trying to be Al Mahdi. And what did he get? Life in prison without the possibility of parole. So Paul was easy. This man gets no respect from his fellow Christians. They claim to love Paul. They claim to honor him, but they don't give him the honor he claims he deserves. Okay. He portrayed to be the father. Okay. They don't honor him as the father. They don't honor him as Jesus father. Paul was disqualified. <laughs> Because you know what? The Christians don't accept him as the father. They don't accept him as Jesus' father. Nobody does, okay? He is just a sad case. So there's no need to even go into detail. Christians don't even honor their so-called father, Paul. They just don't honor him. One thing you can learn from Paul is that Paul did at least know that there was a messenger that would come after Jesus and this man would be considered the father. Okay, the Abba. He, call, he even said that in Romans. He called him Abba just like Jesus. Okay, the Almighty is called Abba. That's why you kissing the Kaaba, the black Kaaba stone. So we eliminated Paul, the wolf in sheep clothing, the Christian's dad. <laughs> <laughs> the enemy of God, we eliminated him. And we eliminated the prophet Muhammad, peace and blessings be upon him. We eliminated the prophet Isa. He was called a son, the son of man. He never once claimed to be a father. And we just eliminated your boy, Paul. Now, the answer to this question is only available to you in the house of David. Now, let me give you a brief testimony before we get to the good stuff. My name is Daquan Labonte Clay. And my name means mountain. I'm going to go over it and over it again so you know who I am. And when I was born, I have a memory of coming through the walls, drifting down, walking into the delivery room and I remember a brief conversation a little bit I'm not going to expose it um, just yet but I know what my mom and the doctor was talking about okay and just like I was teaching that the black cobblestone comes down from paradise it came down from paradise it's the same thing with Al Maddie. I descended. That's why the prophet Muhammad, peace and blessings be upon him. He said he's a descendant. Okay. He descended. He came down. That's a metaphor. A lot of his stuff is metaphor. When he said nose, he has a big nose and a broad forehead that goes into he knows a lot. Okay. Y'all got to stop reading on the surface. And that's my testimony. My testimony is I am the heir. Okay. The prophet Muhammad was a servant. The prophet Isa has to die. I am the rightful heir. Now let's get into it. This will be only available to you right here in the house of David. The father of the prophet Isa and the father of Muhammad is al Mahdi. He is the ruler of the Arabs. He is the chief prophet of all 
the prophets. He is the man whom Allah will use to raise up the tribes of Israel to restore their fortunes and be a light to the Gentiles. Now, let's get that. And there's many hadiths on Matty. But let's just focus on this one. This is going to be narrated by Abdullah Ibn Musa. Now, I want to share this quick testimony before I go into this. Now, before I ever even thought I was al Mahdi, I went into the mosque in my town. Specifically, just one person told me I needed a name. He gave me the name Abdullah, which is the name of the father of Muhammad. Okay, Allah was guiding him. Allah was guiding him. But once I said I was the Mahdi, that's when Allah stopped guiding him. And he was misguided and Satan entered. This is how this thing works. Okay, as long as I was asleep, everything was good. He's Abdullah. But when I woke up, that's when it was a problem that I was Abdullah. Now, let's get to this. Narrated by Abdullah Ibn Musa. May Allah be pleased with him. The prophet, peace be upon him, said, If only one day of this world remained. Let's pause. In other words, I love this man so much that I'm going to make sure this man does not go astray. Okay? If you really could study, you will see that the Mahdi was in Christianity. Look at Moses. Moses was a son of Pharaoh. And Pharaoh and his son ain't nothing but ancient Christianity. But what happened? Moses broke away. He was guided to the straight path. And then what did he do? He came back and he destroyed it. And he set his people free. Moses was a picture of al Mahdi. This is what Jesus was bringing out in the Gospels. He was talking about this. You see, the Mahdi is referred to as God's elect. This is whom Allah is most closest to. He is called the very elect. Also, in the Hebrew scriptures, he is referred to as elect. So let's go to Isaiah 42 and 1. Behold my servant whom I uphold, mine elect. This is the man Allah is most closest to. In whom my soul delighteth. I have put my spirit upon him. He shall bring forth judgment to the Gentiles. He shall not cry nor lift up nor cause his voice to be heard in the street. A bruised reed shall he not break and the smoking flax shall he not quench. He shall bring forth judgment unto truth. Now this is Al Mahdi. He's shy. Okay. He's Shiloh. He's a gentle messenger, not just Gentile, not just reaching out to the Gentiles. He, he's gentle. OK, this is how Maddie. This is my personality. He's shy. He knows that the world is his. He knows that he's an heir. He knows that he's the richest man on the planet and he's walking past people who don't see him. Some people see him. Some people do see me. And they're nice to me for no reason. They don't know who I am. They just, for some reason, they are nice to me. But this is the personality. This is the profile of the man God loves. Notice, I'm not on the streets with a bullhorn. Okay? I'm just talking to my brothers who call themselves Muslim in secret. And letting them know that Maddie is here going on to verse four he shall not fail nor be discouraged why would it say that because this man is the stone in which the builders are rejecting and have been rejecting and i'm gonna keep being rejected a little more this man is going to be tempted to give up this man is going to be tempted to be discouraged but you know what he's not going to give up and i'm telling you right now i'm not giving up i'm not giving in this messenger, whom is most closest to Allah, will not give up. He's going to encourage himself in the Lord and look 
towards the finish prize. And that's exactly what I'm doing. I'm not giving up. And look towards the finish goal. And that's exactly what I'm doing. I'm not giving up. I'm not breaking in. So now let's go to some more scriptures about the elect. This is going to be Matthew 24, 22. And except those days should be shortened, there should no flesh be saved. But for the elect's sake, those days shall be shortened. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala had to do a work in the Mahdi. He had to pull him out of Christianity. He had to purify him. He had to redirect him because even the Mahdi was going to be caught up in this wickedness that's going on in the world. So that's why it says, except the days should be shortened. And that's exactly what Allah is doing right now. He is purifying his Mahdi. Right now, he is redirecting his Mahdi. And he's making the ways straight for him. For him to go exactly where he needs him to go. And so, there you see it. Right now, Allah is getting his Mahdi ready for this task. Verse 23, then if any man shall say unto you, lo, here is Christ or there, believe it not. For there shall arise false Christ and false prophets and shall show great signs and wonders insomuch that if it were possible, they shall deceive the very elect. Now, the Christians, they interpret that as God's chosen people. No, this is talking about one man. Allah had to rescue me from Christianity. He rescued me from that other Christianity, and that is the Israelite camps. He rescued me from all of that. And he was the one who led me into Islam. And he's showing me the issues in Islam right now. He's directing my paths. He's guiding me. So as you can see, Isaiah 42 is talking about al Mahdi, And Jesus was talking about al Mahdi in Matthew 24. So now let's go back to the Hadith. The prophet, peace be upon him, said, If only one day of this world remained, Allah would lengthen that day, according to the version of Za'ada, till he raised up in it a man who belongs to me or to my family. See, family? Okay, what did I tell you? This is going back to the ultimate root. This is going back to the ancient of days. This is going back to the one Mohammed who is al Mahdi. That's why he said his father's name would agree with my name. All the versions, however you put it, his name would agree with my name. His name will be of my father's house. Why? Because al Mahdi is the father. Mohammed is not the father. He's not the supervisor. He's not the poet. All those things al Mahdi is. Jesus was not the father. No. Okay. He was a so-called son in Christianity. So now let's keep going. Till he raise up in it a man who belonged to me or to my family, whose father's name is the same as my father's, who will fill the earth with equity and justice as it had been filled with oppression and tyranny. To the version of Fatar, Sufan version say, the world will not pass away before the Arabs are ruled by a man. Why does it say the Arabs are going to be ruled by one man? Now, if you an Arab and you rule in Arabs, why would it say that? This is a further indication that this man is of another nation. He is of the house of Muhammad because he is Muhammad. Muhammad was a servant that was using the heir al Mahdi's name. Nay, 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 I am nay, Black nay, Book nay, Comely. That's what the real Muhammad said. The real Muhammad said, I am Black Book Comely. Oh, ye daughters of Jerusalem. Oh, you daughters of Jerusalem, get it? USA is inside Jerusalem. Oh, you daughters of Ishmael in the Daquan Clay translation. As the tents of Qadar, the tents of the Arabs is supposed to be black. Look not upon me because I'm black. Because the sun hath looked upon me. My mother's children were angry with me. They made me the keeper. They made me the lord of the vineyard. Okay, that's what that's going into. 
All right. So other versions will say his name is the same as mine. His name agrees with my name. So this is taking you to school. Y'all lost. Y'all blind. Your scholars don't know anything, man. They are modeling right now. They're on the YouTube channels modeling. We're supposed to be fighting. Allah has prescribed fighting upon us. And they're on YouTube modeling. All the famous scholars and imams. They're modeling. Okay. They're modeling on YouTube. They playing games. They in the sandbox with the Christian. When Allah has prescribed fighting on us, we're acting like wusses. You see them over there in the war. Using their own people as shields. Why? Because that's exactly what they're doing spiritually. Instead of going to the black Madi, they're going to their imams, their mamas that don't know a damn thing. Okay, so revelation is constantly being poured out of this house. And we go into war whether you like it or not. We are. OK, and Israel, the so-called Jews, the wannabe Jews, they have a judgment coming. OK, and God is going to put y'all back in that mode of fighting because you fell away. You playing games, you modeling, you trying to be cute on YouTube when your people is dying. Thirty thousand Palestinians are dead from your scholars, from your imams, ignoring the prophecies in the Hebrew scriptures of a descendant from the house of David, an heir to the throne, a man who came down from paradise, just like that black cobblestone. This man's name is Lamonti, and he is Al Madi. OK, you can keep on resisting. I'm going to keep asking Allah to turn up the heat and to turn up the heat and to turn up the heat until you are forced to pull me to the forefront. Assalamu alaikum to my brothers and sisters in the real truth. If you are real Muslim, then you would accept the Mahdi. You would. OK, we keeping everything documented. We recording everybody who says no. Everyone who doesn't get back. We are writing down names and we are taking everything in account. What is the punishment for disrespecting the messenger of Allah when one is greater has come? OK, remember, Jesus said there's one here who's greater than Solomon. He wasn't talking about himself. He wasn't talking about Muhammad. He was talking about the last Solomon. He was talking about al Mahdi. Muhammad, peace and blessings be upon him, lived poor just for the Mahdi to get all of the money because it belongs to him. All of the riches, all of the power, all of those things belong to the Mahdi. All of the money. Okay, so. I ain't worried about anything. Okay, I'm not worried about nothing. All of the wealth is coming right here to the house of David. You just keep in mind that Allah is swift in reckoning. And he will require it of you for disrespecting the Deuteronomy 1818 prophet. Assalamu alaikum to my brothers and sisters in the truth.